Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call Dr. Pamji Palmer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm taking a short call to support the children, young persons, and their families' advocacy workforce and aid settings amendment bill in its third reading. Mr. Speaker, uh, it's a great bill, and I want to start by acknowledging uh, the minister, uh, the, uh, the honorable Anne Tolly, for bringing this bill to the House. We know that there will be more bills uh, to supplement uh, what we are proposing in this legislation coming to the House later on, which is part of the big reform of uh, ch child uh, care. Uh, in our country. And Mr. Speaker, while I also want to acknowledge uh, the Select Committee, I especially want to acknowledge all the submitters for taking the time uh, to make their submission. Uh, some of those submissions were from individuals, organizations having direct, indirect, or general interest in this legislation. So overall, there has been a lot of support from organizations involved in the sector, which is really good to see. Uh, this bill is a great bill, which is to increase the age of care and protection from under uh, 17 to under 18. And the other important component in this bill is that it also provides the opportunity to children to have their say, to uh, have um, being heard. And uh, this is at the individual and also um, at the system level so that we can deliver better services for these children. Mr. Speaker, I also want to acknowledge the Youth Advisory Panel, because what I heard about the Youth Advisory Panel was really impressive. And these children, those who were on the Youth Advisory Panel, have uh, gone through the experience of uh, uh, being in a state care. So it was really good to see uh, what they have experienced and how they would like us to transform a child, youth, and family system. The signal that we got from them was that stop experimenting with young people. And I believe that's a very, very strong message for, from the Youth Advisory Panel. And that uh, message that we got from the Youth Advisory Panel is actually supported uh, by the report that we got from the expert panel. So I want to acknowledge them as well, because the report clearly said that the system is not centered around children. It's fragmented. There is not enough accountability. And what we are doing is actually not, the, not meeting the needs of uh, young people, those who come into state care. So, Mr. Speaker, there are several groups that I want to acknowledge for their contribution in this legislation. Uh, as uh, the previous uh, speaker, uh, Louisa Wall, spoke about increasing the age to 21, yes, that legislation will be coming to the House. And the most important part in that is the transition support and that um, those young people can come back for advice up until the age of 25. So uh, in this whole process, uh, Mr. Speaker, the important thing is that there has been a lot of engagement with stakeholders, which includes government agencies, NGOs, EV, young people, and caregivers. So it's a great bill, Mr. Speaker, that has support from uh, sectors involved um, in, in this field. So I support this bill and commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.